All right, hello PlayStation gamers. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to answer the question, did Sony break the PS3 with their current 4.90 update? This is what we're gonna find out. I've had a couple of people report on my video for the 4.9 update that some of their game discs aren't working after the update. So we're gonna go ahead and try a few discs here. One person specified GTA 5 and that they were concerned that that wouldn't work after the update. Uh, another person mentioned another game that I don't remember what the game was called, but I do know that I don't have a copy of it uh, in terms of the disc copy. Uh, but the other one was GTA 5. I do have a, d a physical copy of that, so we're going to go ahead and test that out. But before we do, uh, I do have another game in the system via disc that we're going to go ahead and test out first. So let's go ahead and try that. I have Metal Gear Solid 4 in here. So we're going to see if the intro comes. All right. The intro pops up, so that's a good sign. Uh, it's At the very least, the laser is reading the disc. It does look like it launches. I'm going to spend a few moments to kind of get into seeing if the if there's any issues with playing the games. Uh, I've decided that since this is a backwards compatible system, I'm going to try three games, three discs for each generation. So three PS1, three PS2, and three PS3 discs just to kind of get a feel for if there's any issues from here. I kind of doubt, honestly, if there's going to be any issues related to software not being able to read the discs. Um, especially with the 60 gigabyte model. I feel like if you have a disc that's not reading, then it's likely due to either the disc or the laser not being able to read it properly. But I wanted to kind of test this out just because I had a few people saying that at, since the update some of their discs were not being read so I kind of wanted to narrow this down just to see. Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Ah! Ah, HQ! HQ! It's the enemy! This is HQ! Ah. Alright, so this game seems to be working just fine. We're going to go ahead and switch over to GTA 5 to see if that disc loads properly. Alright, so the intro comes up just fine here when the disc is read. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and launch it and see if it loads and see if we can play a little bit. Alright, so far so good. We're loading into the game just fine it looks like. Let's wait until we get into the game and see how it looks from there. That actually wasn't as bad as I was expecting. All right. So we're in our penthouse. I forgot I beat story mode on here too, on the PS3. I still have not beat the story mode on PS4 yet. So I'll be actually doing that on my, uh, for the channel because I, I beat the story mode here on the PS3 before I started being more consistent with the uploads with my system, or with my channel. But we're gonna play a few moments here and see uh, see how it all works out. We loaded into the game just fine. I like the music that they put in here too. <laughs> oh man. Archie. There we go.
You stinking little douchewad! What? This is such crap! Fuck out of here with that shit, bud. Coming over and kicking me for what? Yeah. What you gonna do now, punk? Alright. This game's working out well. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game I chose. Alright, next up on our testing list is Final Fantasy XIII. Let's go ahead and see if we can launch this to see how it works out. Alright, it's loaded so far. Looking good so far. Square Enix. Oh, you can install the you can get and install themes. I forgot about that. What? All right. Like uh Like the other ones I'm going to go ahead and um just play for a few minutes to kind of see how it feels. The camera feels a little wonky. Alright, so we got Grand Theft Auto popped in. It's reading the disc, so let's go ahead and launch it, see if it loads. Alright, good sign so far. Alright, we're looking good. Doesn't seem to be stalling or anything so, so far. Travis. Is this the same Travis that's in Grand Theft Auto 5? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments, because that's really funny. Whoa, how am I supposed to move? Wow. Okay. No wonder I really don't play this game, though. Controls are re really wonky. Okay, so there seems to be no issue with playing the game in terms of it, you know, loading and reading from the disc and whatnot. Just the controls are terrible. Okay, I can't play any more of this. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next game. All right. Next up is Blasto. So we're going to go ahead and start it up and play a few minutes just to see how it goes. Cause we're gonna blast off with Blasto. Good news so far, good news so far. Alien fiends beware. Very cinematic for a PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> Devoted legions of terror! The time is finally 
day upon us. The uh, his mouth movements don't correspond with the no, words that are coming out. That fat and safe on their shiny. That is hilarious. Wolri, the one true master race of the universe, banished to this hellhole they call the fifth dimension. Well, well, now it's payback time. <laughs> Using our pan-dimensional crossing machine, we will punch a hole through the space-time continuum. And through this glorious galactic gateway, my beautiful hordes will flow like a poison river, establishing a bridgehead on Uranus. Okay, I'm getting sucked into well, the I say. into the cutscene. I need to get uh, get to the gameplay real quick. Episode 1, Uranian Spaceport. Toast Aliens. I say Vegla, I think that's what Honey, I'm home! Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next game. All right. This is our final PS1 game that we're going to test out, which is Spider-Man. Let's go ahead and launch it and see how well it loads. Okay. So far, so good. That's kind of brutal for a Spider-Man game intro. Wow. Technology is the light that will cut through the darkness. When humanity conforms to a single truth, a truth based in technological progress on scientific uh -huh. method, we will right. be unstoppable. Yeah. I, Dr. Otto Octavius, bow uh -huh. as a scientist and businessman that yeah. my duty is to human... Okay, let's move on. Spider-Man hits the bank heist. Wall Street crashes in Spider-Man. We are here. We are queer. You better get used to it because we're near. Hang out. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man hey, co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spider- Okay, let's move on. I'm sorry, Stan Lee, did I've cut you off. I forgot how to swing. <laughs> I've played the uh, PS4 Spider-Man too often, and it just makes me not remember how to play any other Spider-Man game. Oh, man. Welcome. There we go. It's tingling. Something's going on here. All right, so I'm about to fight. Hello, Mr. Fury. I'm already at full health. I'm already at full health. Whoa, police choppers. I'm already in full health. We're gonna cut it here, and we're gonna start off with our first PS2 game to test. All right, first we're gonna try out Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So we'll see if it loads, and then if we can play for a few minutes. So far, so good. That's a, that's a good sign. Oh, pedal t to pedal, hold down X. I'm gonna give me a 
Obama kid. Yeah, that's what's up. Beep, 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 beep. Move out the way. <laughs> Grove Street. Home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Alright, so far everything's to be everything seems to be working good. Let's go ahead and move on over to the next game. Alright, this game I know does not work on the software emulated PS3s, uh, and those are the ones with the 80 gigabyte hard drives as uh, standard uh, and the two USB ports. No, I think it, I think those have four USB ports. But the 80 gigabyte models with the software emulation, this game does not work, but it does work on the 60 gigabyte full hardware emulation system. Uh, this is Indigo Prophecy, so... So far it's loading up great. Let's go ahead and continue to see how it loads. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. How did you got kill blood on your bed, boy. You're bleeding. Did you cut yourself? Yep, you cut yourself. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. For so. Sure. I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. Okay, so, so far this game seems to be working just fine. Video games notch up new victims. No, I didn't want to go back on the computer. Let's get you cleaned up, boy. Can't clean you up? What the deuce? My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. Man, you're just not getting any breaks, are you? My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that. I tried to. There ain't no sink up in this place. Oh, maybe there is. Alright, I'm not going to get too much further into that. Let's go ahead and get on to the next and final game. Now we're going to test out Mortal Kombat Armageddon. This is the collector's edition of the game, which will have, I think, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 listed in the mini screen as well. But we're going to test this out. It's loading so far, so that's always a good sign. And... We'll see how to go from here. There's Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but I don't even know if this is a dual layer disc. Checks. 
choose your destiny. All right, we're going to test the game here in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and then we'll go back to um, Mortal Kombat Armageddon to Fight. see how that works. Everything seems to be loading okay with all the discs that I've tried. Round one, fight! Everything seems to be loading just fine with all the discs that I put in. I have many more other discs that I want that I could test. However, that would take so long, and I don't want this video to be going on any longer than I already have it. Uh, I am when I edit this. There's only going to be a couple of minutes per game, if that, that I showcase uh, each uh, each time. I have been recording for about 50 minutes though, but the video that I edit, it's not going to be 50 minutes long. But I hope this answers some of your concerns uh, for the people who have commented on my 4.90 update video. Uh, everything seems to be loading just fine with the discs that I have inserted into my PlayStation. Uh, I do have two PS3s, uh, one of them being a Super Slim and then the other one being a original fat backwards compatible model. So I'll, I'll test off screen my Super Slim PS3 just to make sure that can read discs just fine. But so far, so good. 4.90 did not break anything on my system. Everything seems to be working just fine. Actually, someone else just commented saying that Blu-ray was, uh, was being disabled. I don't see them doing that. Part of the big reason they sold this PS3 was for the Blu-ray uh, for the Blu-ray capability to play, be able to play Blu-ray discs. Um, I'm actually going to test that out real quick here. And put in a uh, pop in a Blu-ray. All right, I have a Blu-ray popped in. You see the cover art here. Let's launch it and see how that works out. The Blu-ray is loaded. Everything looks good. Blu-ray loaded. There's. <laughs> No concerns about Blu-ray being disabled. That would be oddly weird for them to disable the Blu-ray feature. Because not only would that disable being able to play Blu-ray movies, that would also disable being able to play Blu-ray games, which is all PS3 games. And that just doesn't make sense. Anyway, hope I answered that question for you guys. Regular Blu-ray movies can be played. PS1 and PS2 and PS3 discs can be played if you have a backwards compatible. PlayStation 3 that plays all of, uh, all those generations. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions or concerns, feel free to let me know them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and do my best to answer them or maybe even do another follow-up video like I did with this one. And I hope you all enjoy your the rest of your day, night, morning, whatever you have going on when you're, when you're watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. I will see you on the next one. Deuces, my juices.